Madonna, Michael Jackson, Prince. And music vi- or, music videos were such a big deal. In the there was 90s. a thing then. That they it, were it's an hard, actual it's thing. It's hard to explain now. <laughs> <laughs> B asks Bob, "What's yeah. your setup? Ah, so, what's well, your actual set? Like, what, what, what camera, computer? Yeah. Sure. So, I, I have a, a MacBook Pro is my computer. I have a uh, Blackmagic Pocket 6K camera, straight on. Even have a teleprompter if I need it. Uh, I have a DaVinci. I have a uh, ATEM Mini Extreme ISO, uh, which has up to eight inputs. So, I and." You know, truth be told, uh, I use a terrible green screen on purpose so that people can see what my nice. family room looks like. Um, so uh, I have that, and I have uh, a whole bunch of other cameras. Now, unfortunately, today's a lousy day in Atlantic City, which is where my office is. Uh, so uh, you can't yeah. see a whole lot today. That's resorts. There's the the Ferris wheel. Uh, but uh, I also have the ability to play back some other um input so if i let's see where am i seven i go over here turn that off but that is a playback of a hyperdeck uh studio studio hd that i have that uh i recorded some video that was just you know i just saw it on the camera that was pointed at the ocean and recorded these guys running around the ocean actually looks similar to that today uh, but i also have the ability to show people like the software oops wrong one sorry uh, but I have I have software that I can show um, on my uh, off my other computer because I have I have multiple computers, uh, which is kind of funny uh, that I can do this. This is another computer that shows what I'm doing with uh, the cameras. Right. So I can uh, control all of them and run macros and do all those kinds of things through the software. But then um I have the ability to, to to basically control any of the, the cameras that I need to control. Uh, let's see, I could probably zoom that out a little bit and you can see there's uh, nice. the, streets, the streets of wet Atlantic City. <laughs> uh, in the past, I had, I was using one of these, which is an ATEM Mini Pro uh, ISO yeah. uh, when that came out. So, and then our latest one is an SDI. So that takes what, six Oops. HDMI's in? So that one has four HDMI in. Uh, this is the new ATEM Mini Extreme ISO SDI. So this has uh, eight inputs and four outputs for SDI, right? So in case people need those a little closer, I think it's in focus that way. Uh, so I, I have that too. Uh, but one of the tricks that I talk about and the PR team thinks I have stock, but I don't, uh, I use a stream deck. A lot of people have stream decks, but don't know that they, yeah, I'm sure you do. But yeah, yeah, yeah. a lot of people don't know that they work with the ATEM so well, but they really do. There's a free software called Companion and that helps. Um, I mean, it's hard enough for me. I, I'm a TD actually. I, I used to, I, I still do every once in a while. They, 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 they drag me back in to TD something, you know, so I've done, you know, Jimmy Buffett concerts and, uh, and uh, award shows and things like that. Nice. So. But that's a different, that's you punching buttons while a director's calling the show. But when I'm supposed to talk, chew gum and press cameras, uh, you know, the right ones, I, I, I still get it yeah. wrong even with the stream deck. So you, you just, <laughs> it helps yeah. to have uh, some tools like that, that's for sure. One of the other guys in the company wrote our own operating system. So all of our products run on the Blackmagic operating system, which really? makes it so much easier. Oh yeah, and that's very cool because it makes it easier for new products to be developed because then they're just running like an app specific to the tools of that product and not having to worry about the rest of it. So uh, yeah, the operating system. Is it, is it a form of Linux or is it entirely? Uh, it, it, it's it's something else. Uh, I don't know. One of our WizKid guys uh, came up with his own thing that um, basically solved the problems that other people were having trying to do you know, other integration with other operating systems. And uh, it, it made it a lot easier for us to do user interfaces. So the same UI team that does the user interface looks can basically work on all the products and make them look similar. So if you go up to 
you know, one of our cameras, any of the cameras, you're going to know how to run it. If you ever ran a, a nice. Blackmagic camera, you'll know how to run all the other ones. And that that's very important because that's not the way it is with a lot of companies. How does DaVinci Color Correction compare to Premiere or Final Cut? <laughs> well, <clears throat> uh, I'd say DaVinci's got the longest history of color correction in terms of the software availability today. And uh, today it's still used by all the top guys doing movies and TV shows and things like that. It's really robust. Now, in addition to the color correction side of it, it's also a full app and everybody can try it for free. So if you want to download it uh, from blackmagicdesign.com, you can you can get a, a feel for it right away. And there's lots of tutorials, not only on our site, but other places. It's amazing the information that people share. When I worked in post in Hollywood back in the oh, forever ago, 90s, um, you know, nobody shared information like they do today, that's for sure. It's before we move to cloud well, offerings. So, <laughs> well, right. So, uh, so Blackmagic always made some recording devices. Hyperdex was our big recording devices, multiple versions of those. They would record on SSD drives and SD cards and things like that. Uh, then with the SSD drives uh, models, we made a thing called a multi-dock. We've had a couple versions of that where you, you basically, it's Thunderbolt connection, so you can put the SSDs in there and dock it to uh, a computer. And because the SSDs are fast, so you can actually- full of hard drives. Yeah, but you can edit <laughs> off of it, right? So you can edit off of them because they're fast. And that that was, you know, helpful. Um, now we have, uh, we're, we're coming out with this new storage, the cloud stores, which are, you know, uh, what are they? Tw uh, 20 terabyte, 80 terabyte and 320 terabyte, you know, for shareable storage with 10 gig ports and things like that for multiple people to share collaboratively inside the same building. Uh, but then in addition, now we have the ability through uh, DaVinci Resolve to actually move files back and forth to people using uh, either Dropbox or Google Drive or, you know, so uh, that has become, but, but storage is always an issue and two reasons. One, the size, the amount you need, but when you're using Resolve for editing and color grading, you need fast storage, which is why we got into the game. Uh, you, you know, just buying any old drives isn't really gonna be the performance that you need with the size of files today and, and the speed that you wanna, because people say, oh, the DaVinci's slow. It's like, well, eh, DaVinci's not slow. Your hard drives are slow. Uh, so that that's really the thing. So um, it's amazing how it's evolved. And I mean, my first computer I bought in uh, 1988, 1988, I went on a game show, win, lose, or draw. I won some money. I bought a, I bought a leading edge computer, and uh, and I had a 20 meg hard drive, and there was no way you could fill a 20 meg hard drive back then, which was true. Uh, the the computer was was obsolete before I filled the actual hard drive on it. But I was a big right. shot. You weren't, I had you weren't even doing audio. Right. I was doing anything. Point. I was writing. Was uh, text, all you could do right? then was all, no, right. you couldn't. You couldn't even. I was just <laughs> typing a script. That was all you could do. You know, uh, you, 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 there was nothing. I don't even. I'm trying to even remember if there were any games. I don't even think so. You know, it was no color monitor. It was amber or green or whatever. I mean, you know, it's just so. It was so far back in time. Setup mm. advice for live streamers who are just getting started. Sure. Right. So, right. Uh, what, do you, what do you have for us? <laughs> I mean, for me, I, so there's a couple things you need to do. One is, uh, as much as this is a visual medium, if your audio is no good, you're no good, right? I mean, that's just yeah. the, the fact, right? I can look great, but if you, know, you can't hear me and understand me, then you're out. Uh, we don't make microphones, but uh, sound deadening uh, stuff, which could be just a blanket or foam or whatever it is, you experiment with that, it, it's a lot better. Wear, uh, you know, earbuds or headphones or whatever, especially if you're doing a two-way conversation, because the last thing you need is everybody hearing everybody else, you know, through the speakers. Uh, I'm still amazed that we're getting feedback this long into it. It's like, oh my gosh, what did we start today? Why are people so terrible at this? Uh, so, I mean, those are the basics. Then lighting is always important. Having some light, you know, good camera, um, you know, uh, that those are are really the basics. But to me, if you if you you got to get your audio start off with a good audio and then the rest of it can fill in uh yeah, and, I, have, you know, I have a yeti blue mic here there uh, you go which i'm very happy with and then you know the blankets actually i've got foam on the walls on each side i've got carpet on the floor and then i've got 
blanket there. This is a real brick wall behind me, which is terrible for audio, but I've got every every other surface. Covered. It looks good. So it's right, cool, but right? like I had these squares, you know, if mm -hmm. I have one of these, I probably have 50 of them. I don't know, they're everywhere. I just put them in places and hope it helps. Yeah, I've got I can that see 24. Definitely... I can see 24 of those right now from here. Right. <laughs> just to give right. you a sense. Right, yeah. I believe it. And it just, you know, uh, curtains help, all kinds of th anything that's sound deadening. Um, it was funny, we, we moved our house, uh, moved houses a couple, uh, about a year ago, I guess. And when we left my closet, which was pretty small, when we emptied it all out, it had an echo in it. And I was like, see, I was trying to, I said to my wife, see, this is what I mean. You know, if you're in your closet with all those clothes, there's no echo. You don't hear anything, uh, but you empty it. And guess what? It's, sound bounces around the hard surfaces and then that's the end of it. So, uh, yeah. oh yeah, connectivity yeah, is, yeah. If you don't have good bandwidth, then you're out. Uh, so, yeah. you know, talk to the right people. That's right. <laughs> Speedify, we're here for you, man. That's right. That's right. Uh, yeah, I mean that's that's another thing. You know, if they can't see you, they're never going to hear you. 